here. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite nerd who knows that boards don't hit back, favorite nerd. And today we are going to look at the SH Figuarts Bruce Lee figure in the classic yellow jumpsuit. This is on loan to me from Mr. Pinkerton from uh, Realm of Collectors. You can check out their podcast, Into the Realm, part of the Cool Table Network, and a good bunch of guys, as well as uh, Crash Box Toys, which does dioramas and some uh, small toy distribution. So if you're looking for some hard to find legends and some import stuff and some Black Series stuff, some from time to time, make sure you check them out. But today we're going to look at this fella, and we're going to start by looking at the accessories. So he comes with three alternate faces. Uh, we'll take a look at each one individually. You have to pardon my hands, I'm still working on these dioramas, and I did have a Clementine. Uh, this is kind of the, you know, looking out of the corner of your eye, like, you want a problem, Mac? Are you sure? Have you seen what I can do? And then we have the, uh, you know, like, oh, you do want a problem. Or maybe he wants a problem with you in this one. And then we have the, uh, you know, well, it turns out he didn't want a problem, because I'm still... Bruce Lee, and I'm still arguably the baddest dude ever walked the face of the planet. So yeah, all good. All the face sculpts look great. All the paint de detailings look great. We'll look at this one real quick. You know, the classic, you know. And in order to, uh, you just take off the face here. I'm trying to be careful because, you know, it's not mine. Uh, this could allow us to look at the articulation there too. So it's a ball peg into the head and then into the neck. So double ball peg for the head. And then you just put this one on, and you're done. And just to, to give you a, a quick glimpse, because they're all kind of detailed the same, uh, we have like the eye paint, eyeball, pupil, you know, in, inside the mouth, the hair. Uh, it's like a done, it's a, just a flat black, but it does look good. They got like the little freckling detailing, it's like the skin texture, what they've been doing recently. Like it, it looks good, they did a great job. He comes with the green staff, and it's, uh, you know, uh, sculpted accurately and it's just a, a flat green but it works and he holds that with no problem and then two sets of nunchucks all yellow with the black paint added to the rivets there one is is more they're both done the same way but this one is kind of intended to be bent and this one is kind of intended to be more of a of a straight line now obviously you could put this around his neck you know, and you can also have him holding this under the armpit, and then this one you can have him kind of holding with two hands, and then this is pliable enough where it will just adapt accordingly. So pretty smart, but um, it would have been nice, I, I don't know, it would have been nice maybe if they were a bendy wire, but sometimes this stuff gets ate up. So I think it's okay, it just, it would have been nice to have the option. And as you can see, he holds those with no problem, using the same holding hand. And then he comes with a number of hands, including posing hands, uh, which I love to see. Left and right kind of open hands, left and right pointing hands, the more open holding hands. He comes with left and right uh, like pegged holding hands, which I need to find the other one. It's right here. And then the two fist hands, which we'll get ready to see in a second. So let's talk about it. We've already talked about the head, and we know that it's on a double ball peg into the neck. Uh, the neck is also, I can't tell. I think the neck might be stationary, which is weird. It's unlike them. Maybe it is moving a little bit. I can't. I can't tell. I don't think that it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. So a single ball peg, I would imagine, from the neck into the torso. We have a disc, a ball hinge or disc hinge rather. Uh, no ball disc. Yes, with the ball peg going into the torso, usual SH Figuarts kind of stuff with the shoulder cap to cover down on the joint. That gets you articulation wise at least up to there. The swivel around, and then because of the sculpt, you get a fair amount of a butterfly joint across the chest and back. So no problems. We have this piece, which is an extra piece, um, floating piece that's that's for the sleeve. And then the, the arm, the elbow here, rather, is on a single hinged elbow. So the articulation is a little hindered there, um, but it's not the worst thing to ever happen. No bicep swivel, but you get it at the shoulder, and ultimately it works. For the wrist, we have a swivel. It's on a peg. They're all. It's nice to see this like just kind of straight peg. Obviously, it's going to make it a little bit more fragile, but you don't have that resistance when you're trying to push the hand in. A lot of times, they do that little peg at the end of the peg, like the little, almost like a ball peg kind of thing, um, but it's not. And it's a ball, it, it's a ball joint inside, so 
all that works pretty well. So you get the swivel, you get a little bit up and down and in and out. All that works fine. Same for the other side, except you get this extra bracelet, which is sculpted and painted. I like how all the veins um, are in musculature are all sculpted in. Looks great. They did a great job, even on the little hands. Looks really good. Double ball peg for... Is that a double? No, this, so there's a single ball peg at the pelvis to the abdomen. That's also, it seems like, on a hinge, maybe? And then, I'm guessing a double, but it almost feels like a single in the chest as well. At any rate, articulation-wise, you get... Let's see, let's not use the hips. Down to there, back to there, side to side, and you do get the swivel. The swivel does destroy the sculpt. Um, I think just it's, the, it's a matter of physics. You can get enough where it makes it look natural. You do have to be mindful. There will sh there, there will be gapage shown uh, in the sculpt around the figure, but a little bit of care in the pose, and you should be fine. For uh, the hips, it's uh, interesting. We have universals, which I don't, I'm not used to seeing with an SH Figure Arts. So it, it makes the joint a lot se more seamless in a lot of uh, simple poses. But if you wanted to do like a kick or something, it starts to look a little crazy. But I think for the most part, you'll be fine. So on the universal, which is just friction, you get out to here and here. So fair range, not crazy. And then the, uh, the full Monty. So that works. And you get a little bit of thigh swivel around the universal. So that's nice. For the knee, it's a single, single uh, joint knee, but you get a great range on it. And the sculpt stays fairly well intact with the exception of the black line paintwork, which is sharp throughout. Actually, it's sharp mostly throughout. It actually gets outside the lines here and there. Which is interesting. It, it's not really noticeable. Like if you have it posed on a shelf, I don't think you'll notice it. But if you get up close and start to take a real close look, you'll see it does get outside the lines of taste here and there. Because the stripe where the stripe should be is sculpted in. All the pants and stuff, the wrinkles look great. As does the wrinkles in the arms, to be fair, which we didn't uh, necessarily count on. All the stitch work stuff in the back of the suit looks good as well. Even the crinkles in the back of the knee joints. That's really, really nice to see. That's a, uh, you know, that's a lot of care. That's a lot of pride. I dig it. For the ankles, I think it's just a ball peg. Unfortunately, because it's so covered down on the joint to save for sculpt, we do lose some articulation. So tilt-wise, you get up to there, down to there. That's fine. And the rocker, you get to here. But I'll tell you, like a lot of times, you want to get more out of that rocker than you actually do. It's a fair amount of range, but just because it's Bruce Lee and you want to put him in some real dynamic poses, you will find that that will limit you a, just the slightest bit. The shoes are all sculpted well and painted extremely well with the black and the white on top of the yellow. And I think it's a yellow piece of plastic. Yep. And then the white sole of the shoe is painted and the back of the figure looks fantastic. So uh, a pretty amazing offering. So all in all, a, a pretty fantastic, um, a pretty fantastic piece. Like just has tons of presence. Uh, I will say um, that the paint is a, a, a little outside the lines in the suit from here and there. Obviously, that'll be an individual results will vary kind of a thing. But it's something that I'm not used to seeing with this company that I did see here. Uh, the other thing is that articulation wise, there's a couple limitations in the elbow, a couple limitations in, in, in terms of the sculpt breakup with the waist and then with the universals that are used for hips, which I do like. But, but you know, they do make it seem a little awkward from time to time. I think it's relatively a very minor thing. I, I think it's just worthwhile to point out. You also may find that the nunchucks become relatively limited depending on what you want to do. Uh, I think you can get most of the poses out of them that you would think that you would want, but they're here and there, there, there are some times where it doesn't seem as natural. Like it doesn't have the weight of the rope. You know, like right now, you know, he has it underneath his armpit and it shouldn't be this tight bend in the rope. It should like hang down naturally. So I think that the way they should have done it is similar to the way that they did the uh, turtles where they had like a couple loose ropes and then like a couple, you know, tight ones for poses and whatnot. But I think the sculpt is fantastic. The little wrinkles in the back of the knees, that really got me. All the wrinkles in the pants and the arms and the sleeves, all the sculpt work that's done to the musculature of the arms and the hands and the vascular nature of it. And it's just... It's just a tremendous effort. I, I love this company. I love what they do. I nitpick stuff here and there from time to time, but I rarely, rarely, rarely find anything that's just an absolute, you know, letdown. It's all little minor stuff, 
overall, it's a beautiful figure of an amazing person uh, that was taken from us far too soon. And if you're a fan of Bruce Lee, a fan of SH Figuarts, or a fan of cool figures, I definitely recommend you pick him up. You can pick up the other one, too. It's just as good. Not the Figma one, though. I'd skip on that one. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.